All right, gang. Early warning. I have the hiccups. I've been trying to fight them, but they, they'll sneak up on me every now and then, so I hope I don't do a hiccup. <laughs> do a hiccup. I hope I don't hiccup during this, uh, this fantastic video. Several weeks ago, uh, I went out on one of my treks to my trade shops I like to visit. And lo and behold, they had one of those uh, community sidewalk yard sales. Sometimes I find some pretty good stuff. I found I found a train set. I found a, a, a one. I found a kicking vintage stapler, a carpenter staple, not like a desk stapler. Um, yeah, you know, and some other things here and there. Well, unfortunately, this one is well, so many people out there. There really wasn't much that caught my attention. It was more people selling clothes, baby items, and uh, um, I guess just stuff that just doesn't interest me. And then I came to one of the tables, was toward the end of my walk, and this guy had his a box of cars, a plastic tub, and he had a dollar a piece. So, you know, usually when I see a box of uh, cars if they if I glance through them and see some good ones I'll make an offer for the whole box but there really wasn't nothing in there that caught my attention other than these three I mean most of the stuff was newer stuff uh, I it's just stuff I didn't want stuff that I tend to get rid of quick because um, I've already got them it, you know some of them are re-released Hot Wheels and some of them are just stuff I don't need or stuff that doesn't appeal to me but these three stood out we got three different brands play art very familiar with husky not as familiar and majorette so we got a this, this is a Chrysler 180 never heard of that car before this is an Oldsmobile Starfire I thought this was a Cutlass but it's a Starfire and then we got a Honda Z I think it's ZGS but uh, we'll start with the Chrysler. So I'm going to move the Honda and Oldsmobile out of the view here. And here's the Chrysler. Now, like I said, I was going through the, the box. And most of the cars were in this shape, you know, some chips on them and all. And But these are, other than the paint chips, these are in pretty good shape. You see paint loss. You know, there's paint loss everywhere on the car, but that is okay. Now, also, both doors open and in you know, pretty good shape. Now, check out that tow hitch. Boy, that's a savage tow hitch. I'm surprised that the government let them put this car out with such a tow hitch that a kid could put his eye out on. That's a hitch. Right, so that's the Chrysler 180, and the, like I said, it's a majorette. I'll show you the bottom of it. No date. It says it's number 209, and this is a Chrysler 180. I actually looked this Chrysler 180 up on online just to see what it was about. And it, this die cast looks just like the car. The next one is what I thought was the Cutlass. It's actually a Husky. Not exactly sure what color to call that. Is it part of the silver family? Is it part of the blue family? Is it part of, you know, I don't know. But minimal paint loss. Some of the chrome is wearing off the plastic. It's a metal top, plastic body, uh, chassis. The roof. Let's flip it this way. Let's see. Try to get it. You see scratches on the roof. But that's it. Uh, it's got a cool detail on the trunk lid. It's got a little latch or a notch here I guess it's there to help you open the trunk there's the deep trunk now when I first saw this I saw the gray wheels I mean that's a that's a Lesney then I got to thinking no wait a minute Lesney this is a six, late 60s Oldsmobile they quit using the gray wheels way before that I'm not an expert never will be an expert but I do know that they quit using the gray wheels. Now, it says Husky on the top, Oldsmobile Starfire Coupe, and the car is in really good shape. Now, 
it's kind of it's kind of to me a low budget car die cast car because it just doesn't feel it's not heavy it's very thin but I do like the car it is pretty good and Husky has some good looking die cast because I have seen Huskies online when I uh, come across them I look them up they do have some pretty good die cast uh, cars last but not least is the play art this is a Honda let's go and show you the bottom so if I can get it in there where you can see it play art across the top Honda Z GS now this car is pretty heavy and you can hear it it's a little loose it rattles a bit rolls okay I mean the back wheels kind of drag but it's not that bad paint chips bumper is still intact intact <laughs> and there's the uh, road uh, curbside doors don't open unfortunately but yeah that's uh, it's a good looking casting now here's the ironic thing about all three of these this car is one in Athens uh, at the Honda dealership I guess it's still there it was there when the Honda dealership was open eons ago and this this car in reality is super tiny I mean it looks like you can put it in the bed of a regular Ford pickup truck and then there's the Oldsmobile and here's the Chrysler 180 now here's the funny thing out of in, in true life this is the biggest car but in these scales here is the smallest car but nonetheless they are all three good looking castings uh, really pleased with the play art Honda I didn't know this existed in play art I've had a few that I got as a kid and I still have a few in my collection uh, quite pleased to have this didn't know it did not know this existed so in a die cast but that's it with this one gang I hope you enjoyed.